So today we are going to the Mammoth Cave. And we are so excited and we are going to be sharing this experience with you. So make sure to stick around and watch. This was our third attraction in our Kentucky family vacation. We went to the Creation Museum first, then we did the Ark Encounter, and last we were going to do the Mammoth Cave. We spent the night in Louisville, Kentucky, which was the perfect distance between the Ark Encounter and the Mammoth Cave attraction. I decided not to listen to the directions that it told me online in their website to said I did listen to the GPS directions, which I'm glad I did because it took us on this beautiful, very scenic ride and we kept seeing signs that said that the road ended in water and we weren't quite sure what that meant <laughs> this is so cool guys okay we kept seeing signs saying that the road ends in water and we had no idea what that meant <laughs> it means it literally look they even have a bathroom We have made it. Our adventure begins. <laughs> now we know what it means. That was so unexpected and so cool. So we have parked our car. The visitor center parking lot was a little bit too full, so we came kind of in the We're overflow. Going in a cave. We are going in a cave. It's it's to see dark. What it really looks like. It is very yeah, dark. It's in Minecraft. Noah's excited because he's seen caves in Minecraft, but this is the first time he's ever been. Sean and I have been in a cave in La Cueva de Camuy yeah, when Rico. we went to Puerto Rico, but the kids have never been in a cave. So this is exciting. We're going to be doing the domes, drapes, domes and drips, the domes and drips uh, tour, the drips and domes That's tour it. with the stalagmites and the stalactites. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> and we were just listening to a podcast on the way down here that was talking about like all the animal life in there, the blind shrimp that there is in there. Lots of cool stuff that we are excited about. So we started off at the visitor center. We had already pre-purchased our tickets online, which is highly, highly advised because they do fill up rather quickly. So we did pre-purchase ours online. And then we were there a couple hours earlier before our tour. We didn't know there was this museum that they actually have in there. So it was pretty cool for the kids to just kind of see. You can also purchase this little ranger booklet that the kids can fill out for $2 and maybe like 50 cents. I didn't realize that until afterwards. <laughs> so we just went through it and enjoyed the exhibits that they had while we waited for our tour. Noah! Here's a ball! Hi! Yes. We pulled it. Hi, Simu! Don't hit your head. So we're getting kind of close to our tour time, so we are all going to take one final potty break, right guys? Have to go to the bathroom. Just Everyone's gonna take a final bathroom break because there's no bathrooms in the cave. After everyone took a bathroom break, we went and ventured outside to the area where our tour was going to be gathering. And along the way, they had like a little shop and you can see the historic entrance walkway. And it was just the perfect day. Are you all here for that 215 Domes and Dripstones tour? Yeah. Yay. I'm Ranger Audrey and we'll be joined in a second by Ranger Chelsea who will be bringing up the rear of the tour. But before we get on the bus, we're just going to talk about a few things about safety and um, some rules of the cave. Is me. No, first time on the bus. Two bus. Yeah, Daddy got put on the other bus with Bubba. And you and I are on this bus. But there was enough space here for them, so we'll have to stick together next time, right? Yeah. Are we here? We have arrived. This is it. We have arrived. We have been reunited. This is my first time going to school bus. Her highlight was the bus ride. That was her highlight. <laughs> Thanks, 15 minutes.
It takes 15 minutes to go down the steps. <laughs> uh, toward, I think 288 steps. Yeah. To get down there. How do you feel now about going into that tiny little entrance? Burning calories. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, Mimi? I'm gonna be honest, I am very nervous about this. Knowing that that's the tiny little entrance that we're going in. There's quite the load. What? <laughs> Be careful with your head. Wow. What do you think, Noah? So far. Yeah. And this is only the beginning of it. What? Yeah. Is this how dark is it? Yeah. Alright, so this is very, very closed quarters. Very steep. Very skinny. Is how tiny it is. This is beautiful. <gasps> Hun. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful it is. This is so amazing. Oh, wow. All right, this is what this is like in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And listen, my legs are shaking. Look how it opens up. Oh, wow. This is... My goodness. So I'm going to be honest, I didn't really read the full description of the tour and how it said that if you're claustrophobic or afraid of heights, this might not be the best tour for you, which I'm glad I didn't because if I would have, I think I would have missed out on such an awesome experience. The height really got to me. Like when you see these steep steps and then you see like these big drops on the side and you can see through the steps because or metal. It is intimidating if you are afraid of heights. Sean and my daughter didn't have a problem at all. Noah and I, our legs were shaking and I couldn't do any more recordings because I was so shaky up to this point. So there's like a big gap of when we were descending to when we finally made it to the dome. How deep are we? <coughs> yeah, we're about 250 feet deep. Mm -hmm. The shelf is just like floating. Oh my goodness. It is pretty amazing, isn't it? It is pretty cool. Now I feel more calm. No, how, how are you feeling now, bud? Do you feel more calm? Yeah. And we've seen the darkest anybody will ever see because there's like no light coming in. Yeah, that was scary for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I was starting to get a little panicked. Like, I need some light. I thought the floating stairs, like the floating stairs, I thought they were like... Well, yeah, I think that was the scariest part. And then there's like nothing below you. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is much better. This is just so impressive. Definitely a must do. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Scary for me, for sure, but I do not regret it. I think it's like awesome. And I think people should do it because it's cool. But if you're afraid <laughs> of heights and darkness and steep things, it is a little bit scary, right Noah? <laughs> Eventually, we did make it to the most draw-dropping site I have ever experienced to where all the stalagmites and the stalactites are at. And they also have this place called the Frozen Niagara. Now, we did not go down there because that was another 100 steps and my legs could just not take it. But what we did see on the top was just amazing. And video and pictures just don't do it the justice. It was just breathtaking. We just look at how amazing it is and how God Why made these things naturally it? like this to happen. Why do you not touch it? Oh, wow. Will we get us ruined? Yeah, we will ruin it. We don't want to ruin this. Yeah, you did. Oh, my goodness. Daddy, take a picture of this. So in here we have to crawl 
that is just mind blowing. Isn't this amazing, guys? Wow, this compares nothing to the other one we went to. These are huge. Wow. You crawl into this little tiny thing. Oh, my. Officially done. Yes. Oh my. So we are now done with the tour. <laughs> Raymond, what did you think of the cave? <laughs> Scary. I think it was amazing. It was beautiful. Unbelievable. I wanna do that. What? How do you feel? Really? That was really oh, good. Oh yeah. Wasn't that awesome? It was amazing. You are officially now been to an amazing cave, Sean. Yeah, it was really worth it. Oh my goodness, it yes. Amazing. It was worth every single penny, wasn't it? It was a little tense. It was, it was. But we made it. Yes, we did. We made it out alive. Noah, wasn't it amazing? It was worth it though. Even though it was scary, wasn't it worth the experience? see through floors. Just to see through floors. That truly was an unbelievable experience. Was I freaking out? Hex yeah. I was freaking out. My legs were shaking. The whole shebang. However, it was amazing to see just God's amazingness, right? Like it's greatness and how these things just naturally form. It was just, it was an awesome thing after going to the Creation Museum and to the whole Noah's Ark thing and then coming to here to actually see not a human built thing, but a God created thing. It was just amazing. Is that real? Where are you getting? No, you can get one thing this little guy? I know. This little guy. Oh, this little minor guy. Junior Ranger. So I want to get some stuff too. We have a boy and a girl. How cute. Need to. You need to get one. You need to get one. There's a whistle. I'm going to buy a little pin to add to my backpack. I'm going to start this pin backpack thing because now I'm, I have National Forest Fever. All right, keep going. Body controlled. Now, now that your our bodies are all under control. Do you want me to fetch the car and bring it back here? You know, that might be good. So I ended up getting a little pin because I'm going to start this thing now since we're doing our camper camping kind of stuff and whatnot. So definitely this for a backpack. I need a backpack for these trips because one thing I learned today, one of these totes doesn't do it. I want to have a backpack. And then a little sticker. I'm being all tacky guys. And I got this. I got a little sticker for my car. I got my blocking thing. Yes, very but cool. We're going to do an occasion. Yes. It was definitely an experience of a lifetime. It was amazing. And I can't get over at how amazing this thing was. Cracker Barrel in the car. Noah decided to have breakfast. Mamie and Dad decided to do fried chicken. Yeah. Fried chicken. How's your country fried chicken, babe? Oh, crunchy, crispy, greasy. And then we're gonna have to look My car is gonna need a deep cleaning when we get home because oh my God, all this stuff Mom, is just we're gonna have wow. Our chicken wow. and fries. Major deep cleaning. Southern fried chicken. Especially the steering wheel. No, I've never touched the steering wheel. We have wipes, mm -hmm. so everybody can wipe their greasy hands off. We have wipes. Good with the leather. 
For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!